everyone I wanted to show you what I'm up to lately so what I did was I collected several cans from soups that my husband and kids have been eating and tomato sauces and other such things and I collected the cans and since we have spray paint on hand we didn't buy it on purpose and we don't really have a use for it so I decided to use the spray paint. I don't normally like to use chemicals because the gases that it emits but since we already have the spray paint on hand I used it to spray paint the can so I have it in pink and this Tiffany blue color and I don't spray paint the inside because that's where I put soil and I'm gonna put succulents in here and such and I don't want um, and it already has a protective covering inside it's the outside that you want to protect so here's a can that I didn't protect I, I had it sitting out over the spring and it got the dew the morning dew and it would rust very easily and to recycle and upcycle and to reuse something for a lot longer I decided to spray paint it and it'll keep it from rusting and so I have it in this little box apparatus and I put something on the ground so that the overspray doesn't um, spray paint my concrete ground and so that's what I do I spray paint in the box and it catches it and I just do a couple cans a day and pretty soon I'm going to have a huge collection of it and they're going to be really cute because you can just add ribbon and other things to it to your arrangement and it will look fabulous um, just doll it up and of course anytime you spray paint you've got to use gloves and a mask the mask is the most important thing and if you have protective goggles use that as well so that's a tip that I have in upcycling, recycling, redu reducing things, reusing things, and it's quite affordable. And it's only because I have spray paint on hand. So I'm going to be coloring some pink uh, for people who like pink and um, myself or have it in an arrangement. I, have, I love that Tiffany blue. I have white, which I'm going to do next, and I also have black. And somewhere I have like a silvery color and a gold color, and that was supposed to be for holidays to spray paint pine cones. Uh, I've since abandoned that project, <laughs> so, and I don't really like it because it's introducing chemicals onto something organic. So I haven't done that in a long time, but this is good because I'm preserving preserving the cans and using them a lot longer than this because this is going to turn even more rusty and um, uh, I don't know if it's bad to be for that stuff to slough off into your soil but I mean I hopefully it's just iron but who knows what other metals there are but I like to kind of keep it semi dry with cacti and succulents Hope that helps and gives you some ideas and inspiration. See you in the next one. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe. Hi everyone. So it's a hot day um, in the 90s. So it's after school and I'm going to cut this Japanese melon that we grew in our garden so the kids can have a snack after school. It's a taste test. It's been harvested about five days now so it's should be sweet by now this is what it looks like on the inside I just cut it in half minimal seeds it's a light greenish white color which is what I remember so we'll see how sweet it is now this is a golden melon we bought the original fruit from Costco I believe it's a Crenshaw melon or a golden honeydew type. It was just called Delicious. So I can't remember exactly what the real variety is. 
However, I do know that this, I didn't grow this as big as what we purchased from Costco. Hopefully it will be as sweet. And I don't know if I harvested it too early. Uh, we'll find out. We harvested this golden melon the same day that we harvested the Japanese uh, melon. And we'll cut them both and have a taste test and compare them. And because they're the first melons that we grew and they were uh, very far from each other, one was on one corner of the yard and the other one was on the other corner of the yard. I do believe that it was not cross-pollinated. So I'm going to be collecting some of the seeds from these. And I'll know that they're true to type. And I still have a few more of the original seeds as well. Uh, but I do like to grow and see in the following year if, it's, if what I say is true. And if it does taste good. And then the rest of the pulp from the center I'll give to the chickens because I love to eat that. So this is the inside of the golden melon and what's funny is I thought that the inside was going to be golden colored. I didn't remember because it's been about two or three years so the seeds were um, stable for that many years but the inside's green <laughs> which is unusual. So we'll see how juicy and sweet that is. And I'm going to pull up the pulp and the seeds, save some of the seeds since it's one of our first melons and it can be true to type, and give the rest of the stuff to the chickens as well as some of the, the shell. So here are the melons. This is what we grew up doing. We would cut it into chunks and we would eat it family style in a bowl, like, and we'll just use the toothpick or a fork to each individual one into our mouths and we don't have to worry about seeds or the peel or anything like that the skin so my son's gonna give it a try and let me know how it tastes between the so he's trying the golden melon and the other one is the Japanese melon. So I'm going to try the golden melon. Well, I'm going to try the Japanese melon because it was firmer and I believe it has a cleaner taste and maybe not so sweet. Mm. That's tasty. So yes. I do remember that the Japanese melon was firmer and not as sweet, which is, um, and has a very clean taste. Hey mom, you should have refrigerated it. Mmm. So, I had the end of the golden melon, so it was a little firmer and not as sweet. Let me try the center. Mm-hmm. It's not as sweet as from the store. But I think it's because it's watered well. Because my soil has a lot of mulch and a lot of fluids, uh, water in it. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. The Japanese melon is exactly as I remember. Probably to be sweeter, the golden melon could have been left on the vine maybe another week or two.